While the king sitteth at his table, my spikenard sent forth the smell thereof. Song of Solomon 112. This exotic smell of spikenard is introduced here in the Song of Solomon. It's very interesting how the Shulamite's fragrant wafts the scent along to the shepherd king with her deep adoration and love and devotion for the king. It's interesting that she chooses these words, scents. You see, it's like a flag to the reader to take notice. She's describing this costly ointment as being sent forth, just as Yeshua's disciples were sent out. You see, the Bible tells us that he sent forth to heal. There was a specific reason, a task, or a design associated with this verb. It is one thing to have an exotic perfume present, but to be sent forth as if to accomplish a specific purpose with something in mind. And so this ointment in the Song of Solomon is being sent forth to herald another very important event that has not yet taken place. An event in history that even his disciples could not even fathom. We see Solomon's prophecy fulfilled in the New Testament in the account of the woman with the alabaster box who anointed the Lord before his death and burial. The disciples considered her action a waste, but Yeshua said, her gift of anointing was a good deed and would be remembered wherever the gospel was preached. As a prophetic fulfillment, blending these fragrant accounts of scripture together connects time and history for us. Solomon places the ointment of spikenard in the opening act of the Song of Songs as a reminder to the fragrant mixture that perfumed the door of the tabernacle during the worship services. He wanted to make sure there was no mistake of who he was writing about, our High Priest and King, Yeshua.